Ah, it is the season of resolutions, folks. And the, uh, a very popular resolution is to spend a lot less time staring at these yes. things or staring at a screen in general. So this morning in our Start Today Refresh, we are going to tackle how to build better digital habits. And here to help us, Lauren Good. Lauren is a senior writer at Wired. Good to have you. Let's start with this, because a lot of folks pledge to have this, like, digital detox. Yeah. Gonna dig you, you maintain that's actually a bad idea. It's not necessarily a bad idea, but it's a little bit misleading. Okay. Right? Because I think you do think you're going to go on vacation for a week. You're going to put your phone in the safe. Maybe you're going to go cold turkey on an app or something. Yeah. It just doesn't work, right? It's like a fad diet. Your adherence to that is low. You're just going to fall off. So the key nice. is to slowly build better habits over time. You guys have been talking about this this whole show, yeah. right? To take up activities that feel a little bit more meaningful, yeah. connect you with other people, and then maybe you're thinking about your screen a little bit less. Okay, Lauren. Well, let's let's dig in here because one of the main reasons I think a lot of pick up a lot of folks pick up their phone besides don't besides like doom scrolling, <laughs> right. they they use their phone as their watch, yes. as their clock. Oh my gosh, to check the time, yes. right? I mean, some studies say that we pick up our phones as many as 300 times a day. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Like mindlessly just Taking sometimes I'll look at right. to see what time it is and then forget what time it is. And then you yep. end up yeah. scrolling on Instagram uh, forever, right? Oh, look uh, at that classic. Now that's, that's a beautiful That's straight watch. analog right there. Yeah, that, that is some old there. school watch. Well, we have some other options what here too, that? which I think are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one is the Ginkgo Cube Click Clock. Okay. It's actually an alarm clock. I love this because, I mean, basically it's design. It just looks like a block. It's yeah. kind of decorative. Very minimalist. It's very minimalist. You can program it, though, to show you the time, the date, the weather, the temperature. Nice. And when you tap on it, the, oh. the time goes on and off. So basically you set the alarm at night, and then it's next to your bed. And let's say you mm -hmm. don't want the digital lights right. kind of brightening mm -hmm. up your you room. Tap just tap it and turn it off. I like this And then a good old-fashioned clock. Yeah. yeah it's just a, Go figure. Yeah, right? What a concept. I know. <laughs> An old-fashioned clock. So that's a, that's a great start. Yeah, and the, I mean, these, this is another option. In fact, Braun, the folks at Braun tell me that people still ask them, do people buy clocks? Yeah. And they do. And this is a classic Braun analog clock. There's a big one and a small one here. And what I like about this is, once again, it's very clean, simplistic design, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The brand Braun is often associated with the famed industrial yeah. designer, yeah. Dina Roms. And, um, and so you can see how this is, like, you know, very clean, very beautiful, but still very functional. These are also mm -hmm. very quiet Dylan. clocks. Good. Yes, I want to get one of those because I do not have a clock in my house, if you can believe it. You need it. Wow. some of these, Dylan. Yes. Um, so all ages, I feel like, need to just get off any sort of, like, the digital, just doom scrolling, you know? And I feel like all yeah. ages just are drawn to it. What are some other options? Yeah, I mean, part of building healthy habits is definitely thinking about tangible activities, right? Interacting with nature in ways that just take you away from your screens. These are two products that we put on our wired list for 24 analog gifts that you're going to love that mm -hmm. are, you know, part of a digital detox. This is the Minel Sound Hole. Kalimba. <laughs> People are going to be like, what is this thing? Mm -hmm. It's a thumb piano. Mm -hmm. So oh. you don't have to play piano or really know too much about music to get into this. She, she, African she, yeah. she showed me how That's to use correct. it. That's correct. It has African origins. Yes. Okay. And you pick it up and you basically, it's, it's 10 notes. It's in uh, the C major scale. And you pick it up and you just it play it with your thumbs. Oh. And it's, it is, it's meant to be very and you relaxing play it with your plants. and soothing. Yes. That's right. You can play it for your plants. You can play it, you know, huh. yoga. You know, it's you're very good at this. Right. Thank I you. think you've got a really Thank job you, going for you. Okay. And, and Lauren, and we've, then, got, we've got one of these. This seems counterintuitive, talking about uh, getting off devices, <laughs> but yet bringing a... Uh, a Google Assistant. Yeah, that's a really good question. I knew you were going to ask that, Al. Okay, I have one of these in my bedroom, and I have to say, I thought to you, like, do I really want more tech in my bedroom? Yes. This is great because of what I said earlier about the clocks. It means you don't have to pick up your phone. Mm. You can just use the voice assistant. You can uh, have it set alarms for you. You can have it play studio so whether music. Whether it's your Alexa you can or iPod your... Home or Correct. something like that. Yes, exactly. Why don't you bring you your can... games under here? <laughs> Bring the games yes. over here yes. to it's the tent. It's a little tent. hard to carry Django. Okay, or... yeah. So one of the things that's great for family time, right, are just games that you can all play together where people aren't as incentivized to be on their phones. Sushi Go is None a hugely popular loose. game. It's a card game. Everyone's involved. You have to, like, pass your cards to the person next oh, to you. Cute. Everyone knows Jenga. This is a very classic Hasbro game. It's one of their most popular mm -hmm. games. You can write little messages to people like on the blocks and yeah. bury oh, it in cute. there. And what yeah. about the tent? So, and the tent. I oh, I wish this. we could like bring the sill plants. That's what I said. Bring no. them over you know here. What? I think if you put this, Craig, didn't you do this once where you put we a did. tent up in the yard? During the, the height you can of go COVID. camping in your own backyard. Did it twice. Yes, it's that is correct. Space. I don't know if I can like beat the, the, the dad joke that Al made earlier about this being intense. But we are getting intenser. This is the Coleman six-person. Look how 
big, big it is. Tent. I love this tent. Yeah, this is called the screen room here, right? You so can even cool. like pull this oh, wow. back so you can see the stars at night. And what's cool That's about so this cool. is that they claim you can set this up in five minutes. Because five minutes? Five minutes. This is what they say. Are you? This is very All right, bye, game. guys. Are you like have a great day. No, not at all. <laughs> so five so minutes. Look, you can no. up inside all the way. Well, it's actually a six As someone who's done this, it's a lot of fun. Lauren, thank you for more of these guys. products. It's today.com slash shop. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.